automations and workflows. We've got a few minutes left, so let's quickly look at automations and workflows. These are only applicable if you have a paid account with MailChimp. So if you have a free account, unfortunately you can't use them, but I strongly personally recommend that you actually sign up for the premium account. Uh, number one, you won't have the MailChimp logo added to the bottom of all newsletters and messages you send to your people. So you won't be um, an affiliate for them that, that doesn't get paid. And number two, you can then use the automation workflows, which is a really cool and awesome tool to use. Um, in MailChimp, you can use three types of um, automation since they've changed the system. So number one is the linear sequence. So this happens uh, when someone signs up to your list, you send them the first email. Then say next day, you send them next email. The following day, next email. Then in three days time, another email. In five days time, another email. So this campaign just goes in certain intervals between emails as you've set them up. This is good for if you're promoting an e-course, which contains five or seven steps to something. Um, if you have a premium e-course as well, you can deliver it in this way because you can integrate um, PayPal with this sequence. And then when someone buys access to this premium e-course, they get automatically put into the sequence and then you'll start sending them premium content in the linear uh, format. Um, next one is action sequences. So these happen when your subscriber takes an action that you want them to take. So for example, you send them an email with an attachment and then you can say that after one day or one hour or one week <laughs> after this person opened the email, not just received it, but actually opened it or even click the link in the email, then you send the next email. So this is the difference between linear, when you don't track what they've done with your email, if they bother to open it or not, uh, and action-based sequences. And then the final one is date-based, when you want to send campaigns on a specific date. Also, in a way, action could be classed as when people subscribe or are imported to your list, this is an action that triggers a campaign. Um, so if you want to set up a campaign, then you'll create a domain workflow, choose the list that's going to receive it. And then here it shows you different types of um, campaigns you can send. Some of them will require additional integrations like Commerce 360 or Mandrill. Um, but so welcome is just um, a linear sequence or educate. Welcome message is basically just a one-off message that you can send. Um, and then if you have a date field, like if you want your subscribers to give, give you their birthday, for example, so then you populate a date field in your campaign. Um, and then on a specific date, you can then send them a um, campaign that, that wishes them happy birthday. Or um, if they've purchased something from you that's, um, say, six months subscription duration, then you'll have a date in your campaign when they've purchased. And then in six months after this date, you'll send them an automatic reminder to say that they need to renew your subscription with you. So same for the annually recurring events. So we just want to educate our subscribers. So you select your workflow names, go through all the settings as usual. And then you can set how you want the campaign to be triggered. So when subscribers are imported or they subscribe, you can also say, when subscriber is not just member of the whole list, but only member of specific segment. So this is how you can, for example, segment people who purchased an e-course rather than everyone else in your customers list. Um, and then you can say that first email can be sent to any existing subscribers as well who are already on the list. Um, also, you can say that if you don't, you don't want to send, for example, business emails on Saturday and Sunday because you know your subscribers are not going to be um, active and looking at their emails. 
uh, you can only say send at certain times during the day between times or at specific time and then once you've done your initial setup then you just start adding emails you can do one at a time you can do several um, and then once you've set one up then you can add another one you can change delay between the days and then once you've finished setting everything up you check all your settings obviously my emails are not populated with live content so i won't be able to start the workflow but if i set them up with all the details with all the information then i can start the workflow and automation will start happening automatically